All right, so I had a power outage and lost some time in the game, but I am not going to go back because I'm. It was too much recording. It was like 20 minutes, and I am just going to recap what happened. So we started production on increasing our polished stone. We built a warehouse right there, just one for now. We have easy access to expansion if we ever need more. So we've got that going there, a whole bunch of uh, huts there. Uh, the next step is probably going to be, uh, I'm thinking maybe tool production. Maybe we redo that entirely. The... Clothing production, I think we're going to leave B for now. There are ways we could refine that, but I just don't care enough to. Not right now. So, we shall leave that B. For tools... No, you know what? Oh, we've already got that. Let's go ahead and get the next bit of stuff going on for the... Hops or the beer productions. We need two wheat and one hop. Oh man, we are going to need a whole lot more wheat production. So let's just get two down. We need to. I think this is the time where we finally go about getting our wheat production fixed. It's going to be dramatic on how much we're going to have to do. But I think we just have to do it. I think we have to pull the band-aid on a lot of this stuff. <clears throat> so. Let's go ahead and keep these things separate. We're going to set up our windmills. Why not, right? Let's set up windmills just up here. I think that might be kind of neat. Just have them as such to catch the, the nice ocean breeze. And then storage a granary. Set that up right there, centralized. We'll use that to hold the wheat. And then, yeah, I think we just need to, to shift the bakeries as well. I don't want everything to be ridiculously far from each other. So, let's set up the bakeries. I guess just, we've already got a little bit of housing here. We're, no, we're going to get rid of that. Okay, so wheat down here comes right up here. And then comes right here. There we go. Boom. We'll set that up there. Bakeries, and remember, we want to keep, you know, um, plug and play in mind. We want to keep that kind of functionality in mind here. So we'll set up four for now, and then this does a couple of things. Having all this right here, uh, number one, it's near residential zones, right? All this is kind of close in. Um, we need. A bakery just right here in this or excuse me a granary just right here in the center there we go I was gonna say something and then I forgot uh, but it just it kind of keeps having things set up like this number one makes things efficient because all the woods right there they need to go right there right and it makes it expandable that's kind of the main other thing is the expandability of all this the the, the uh, there's a the scalability, excuse me, that's the word, the scalability of it. When it was all crunched together like this, there was no scalability. We couldn't expand at any sort of reasonable pace uh, because we would have to do things like this where I just put the iron smelter there because I didn't have room to put another iron smelter along with these ones. And it just ended up kind of being shitty. When we do things like this, we're streamlining quite a bit better. We're making things smoother. So we're going to keep on doing that. Could not fulfill one need. Don't care. Sorry, monks. You'll get over it. And yeah, we're already doing decent. We're already doing decent. What else? So we've got that guy set up with all the random stuff. Training grounds. Okay, we finally set that up. And now we are increasing the kingdom rating. And did I set up a warehouse with swords? I did. Okay, so... 
Now we can make sure that everybody gets a weapon and they can all train. Wounded? Got hurt on mission? Hey, we've got some unemployed. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just add a whole bunch of soldiers. There we go. 25. Make sure everybody's got a sword. And now we can start doing kind of higher tier missions. Let's just get everybody armed. Boom. Okay. Residential space is average. Not awesome. So, where's the... Oh, let's see, the market's right there. Wandering monks, please. Thank you for the happiness and the clergy points. I need that. Okay. Got a little bit more set up there with that. What is all these? Oh, that's a bunch of houses coming up. Nice. Perfecto. You know what we also want to do? We want to make sure you're not getting impeded upon too heavily by the malice that the warehouses uh, do to the desirability of an area. Okay, so that is that. We've got this stuff coming along slowly but surely. Mm, let's see, any taxes? Let's tax the church. Give me some money. I don't care if labor's got a little bit of uh, pain going on. I need money. And that tax on that church is going to do pretty good for us. All right. So stuff like this builder, that's going to be useful for when we expand out in this direction. But right now, I'm not sure about the usefulness of it. What's over here? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Getting the windmills up. Courier. I have plenty of wool. Take it off my hands, please, and thank you. Okay. How about this bridge? Slowly progressing. We're getting that polished stone in. And once we... Uh, once this stuff gets built, in fact, because polished stone has always just been a huge pain in my ass. Prioritize, prioritize, prioritize. Boom, 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 boom. Let's just get that stuff done and out of the way. I'm tired of waiting on it. Just want to be able to, no access to food. What do you mean? have do I need to collect more berries no I've got plenty of berries what's the issue then buddy set up more berries I guess got these fishing huts coming along so one of the issues when you start getting to a larger city I know we're only at 402 people here but one of the issues you start running into is uh, not path finding but kind of in that same vein is people not being able to meet their own needs Basically, that's the long and the short of it. Not being able to meet their own needs. Not being able to... Down and dead. Do we have any unemployeds? Nope. We don't. Not being able... To, but the, the problem is people just... They won't do as good of a job at staying alive. Golly, this is rapidly becoming an issue. Why? Okay, there we go. Back in the... Back in the back in black okay and one another another benefit of doing the things things the way I am by separating them as such is we kind of create a lot of extra jobs that we would not have really had prior um, because you know you, you centralize everything and you have less warehouses you have less this but it, it becomes less effective in some manners now, if we do it like we're doing here, we have a lot of extra buildings to do stuff with. A lot of extra buildings to employ people in. Hey, can you be built? And we've got that granary ready to go. This will go flower. Flower, flower, und flower. Okay. Good, 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 good. So, what we'll do is once we get these two things set up here, the windmills and the bakeries, is we'll clear this area out. We'll get rid of all the windmills we have down here, all the bakeries we have down here, transition them to the two respective locations, and then 
we will also move the farms down. Oh, hey, you know what else we're going to need over here? Is a water well. So let's set that up. Boom. Yeah, you need water to bake bread. And as soon as I have these two built, we will uh, we will move the production of polished stone over here in its entirety. Now, it'd be goofy to have like a bridge from here to here, because that's kind of what we're doing um, over here. It's just a bridge to to be able to get down there. So I want to get access to whatever resources there. Stone mason hut. Perfecto. Let us transfer one of the... Oh, let's just do it this way so we can know for sure. Get rid of you. Destroy. Boom. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. Housing insufficient. Man, we are struggling. Struggling. We've got plenty of wood. You know what? Let's just let us do it. We'll build a work, a builder's workshop right here. Build that. Fill it up. Uh, eh. Cancel that. Builder's workshop should go here. I don't want to get in the way of the uh, of the in the way of the hop farm. What else y'all need? Polished stone for a hop farm. Okay. Fancy ass hop farm. Okay. I really I just want hey stone deposit. No, no, no. I got to stop building. I got to let the stuff I've got here build. Uh, high average employment, average residential space. I think we're hitting some level or degree of cap on space, but I don't know why because we've got all this space here for residential. Let us... Let's put a well right here. That can get priority. Because that should, in theory, right, make the area more attractive to people to go move into. So we'll do that. We will do that. And let's also do that. Just more area to live in. It's not the best around here, but we just need more space. Granary built. Okay, now. Berries, bread, fish. Herbs. There we go. Get that started. New tail. Coin surplus. Perfect. What are y'all doing? Okay, so I think the issue with the housing is not one of lack of space to build, but lack of actual building occurring. Occurring, occurring, excuse me. So let's get rid of all this extracted painted zone. I just realized that looks like a wiener. Let's get rid of that. Ah, I should have left the wiener. What's wrong with me? More population. Okay. Okay, so now we've got the other stonemason's hut. So let's get you out of there. Let's just fill it up. And then the moment this warehouse here is built, that's going to just propel the whole uh, polished stone process along so much faster. I love the way these look like Tatooine houses. The glass smelters. Han? Or not Han. <laughs> Burn. I can't remember. Uh, Luke Skywalker. I can't remember what his uh, parents' name were. Ben Skywalker? 
That was his dad, right? Fuck if I know. Okay. You know? Well built. Okay, so we've got that up and running. All right, so I think we can go ahead and let us transition one bakery. You and you. Destroy the building. Boom, boom. Okay. Newcomers, more immigrants. Another stonemason's hut built. Perfection. No access to goods. Uh, you're a soldier. Of course you're not going to have access. Food shortage. There's no food shortage. What are you talking about? Do... Do soldiers? What is this? Oh. This is from when I've been thinking about building a fort. And then didn't actually build one. I guess all the things stay up in the air. Anyways. We're going to call the episode here with another wave of immigration. Make sure this is full up. And when we come back, we'll continue expanding... Um, kind of these little specific uh, zones where we're building one or two things or taking care of one or two processes uh, in in the, the all these resource production lines uh, let them pay yeah we can't help them sorry oh did I I clicked the wrong thing idiot well, hopefully we can gather enough herbs. Anyways, my name's Perpetual Pandemonium. Thanks for joining me again in the game of Foundation. Hopefully we can get up to a thousand villagers before too long. I'll see you next time.